Hi guys, welcome to weeks two and four after your ACL surgery. So you've made it this far, that's great. Your knee should start being a little bit a little bit easier to bend at this point. You will be starting to now work on a lot of the muscles around the knee as well as still working on the flexibility of actually bending your knee. You want to try and get as close to 100% as you were before in the bending uh, department, I guess you could say. So here are a few exercises that you can do to try and make it so that your knee can bend a little bit further as well as being able to, to work on those muscles. So at this point, you're going to try and bend your knee as far as you can up and back down. You're going to do that many times a day. Let's say 10 reps at about 5 to 6 times per day. All the way up, all the way down. Remember to drag your heel on the couch or on the bed or wherever you're at so that you're not putting too much stress on that knee. Next, you're going to try and build this muscle as well as the muscles well, just all the way around your knee. So what's going to happen or what you can do is obviously we're, we can still flex and back down, flex and back down. Once that becomes too easy, you can still continue to do that. It's still good to do. But next, you'll try and lift your heel off the couch. As we can see, try and lift the heel off the couch and back down. You may not be able to go too high. You're not going to be able to flick it way high like that. Nice and slow off the couch and back down. Off the couch and back down. Again, you're going to do this about 10 reps, roughly 3 to 4 times per day. Once this becomes too easy and you're able to lift it a little bit higher, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to have your leg bent a little bit like this, as straight as you can though, and you're going to try and lift it up and hold it. Try and hold it for 5 seconds. If you're able to hold it for 5 seconds and put it back down, you're perfect. Then you can try and go for 10 seconds. Once you get through 10 seconds, you can put it back down. And then once you, that becomes too easy, you can start having it bend a little bit and then bring it up and back down. You may feel cracks and hear cracks in your knee. This is six years later for me and I still hear those cracks. So don't be too afraid. It's going to be there for a while. The next thing I liked to do was lay on my side and lift up to the side like that. Hold it for a few seconds and back down. Up again and back down. Again, you're only lifting two or three inches off the couch. Okay, now we've got rid of those exercises. Now I will bring you down to the bicycle and we can work on some bicycle things that you can do. Welcome down to my green room. <laughs> it's my green screen. So this is where my workout room is. So what we can do on the bike is basically on the lowest setting, go forwards for a few minutes and then start going backwards. Let me show you what I mean. So as we see here, I am going fairly slow. You might not want to go this fast the first few times that you're actually uh, running on the bike, or should I say going on the bike. And then you can also go backwards. This is going to help your knee with uh, the mobility of it, as well as strengthening your muscles around your knee. So there you have it. I hope you have enjoyed. Please join us tomorrow for our next exercise video for recovering from an ACL surgery. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.